Diligence. Diligence. Staying alert. Being careful. Being mindful. Not taking anything for granted. Yes. When the word is being preached or taught, are you present? Mm -hmm. Are you alert? Are you taking notes? Or is your mind wandering about? Reading emails or checking Facebook? <laughs> Does your week consist of daily prayer? Or are you complacent? Is your prayer life connected to your troubles? Huh. In other words, is the only time you pray <laughs> when you're in trouble uh -huh. or need something from the Lord? Right. Are you diligent in sharing Christ and your testimony? Amen. Or are you an undercover Christian until Sunday? <laughs> are you uh, uh, as for me and my household kind of saint? Yeah. Or is it every man for himself? First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the 58th verse is, Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, yes. unmovable, yes. always yes. abounding yes. in the work of the Lord. Yes. For as much as you know that your Amen. labor is not in vain Amen. in the law. Yeah. 12th verse, again, it says, That ye be not slow, but followers of them who through faith and patience Inherit the promises. The, the text says that we are to be followers of them who have gone on before us. They were faithful and they have already received their heavenly just reward. The writer introduces one of those. Uh, he introduces Abraham. Uh -huh. God had promised Abraham a seed, a child through whom a nation of people would be born. Yes. And, and God had promised a land in which his people would live in. All Abraham had to do was to believe God. If Abraham believed God, then he would follow God. Persevering and hoping to the end. Enduring and waiting for God to fulfill his promises. Amen. Abraham did. Yes, did. And, and therefore he received the promise of God. It, it was the promises of God that sustained Abraham. Amen. He, he lived and he, he existed on the promise. Even through difficult times That's right. in his life. Yes. Amen. And because life was tough, he did not become slow and slow. <clears throat> When things really became tough for Abraham, he focused on what God said. Yes. Yes. God didn't promise Abraham how or when. All right, that's right, promise. that's right. But he did promise yes. to fulfill it. Yes. Yes. And it was Abraham's responsibility yes. to wait on God to do yes. what he said. Yes. And the text says that, and thus having patiently waited. He obtained the promise. Yes. That's right. When God promised Abraham a new land and a son, Abraham was 75 years old. Yes. However, Abraham was 100 yes. Yes. when Isaac was born. Yes. Got to listen. In, in spite of the mistakes that Abraham and Sarah made in that 25 yes. That's right. year period, yes. their faith and patience <laughs> kept them yet trusting in the promises of God. And that ought to be good news. Uh, because this Christian race is a marathon, not a sprint. You're going to make some mistakes, but you can't quit. Jesus Christ is our Lord and, and Savior. And, and it doesn't mean because he's our Lord and Savior, that we will never encounter or have to deal with problems. All right. That we will never face any opposition. That we will never suffer any discomfort or sickness. That we would never feel any pain. That we would never fight any battle. 
or, or that we would never have any temptation Help us, Lord. to deal with that is on the way, on the way. Yeah. but God will not prosper All right. those who are lazy my Lord God yeah. will not suffer those who feel that they can do it all on their own. My Lord. God will not provide for those who fail to trust in him. God will not deliver those who are outside of his will for them. God will not pour out of his spirit upon those who are not spiritually thirsty. All right. God will not empower those All right. who determine to yield to sinful temptation. And, oh Lord, God will not abundantly bless those who refuse to be good stewards of those blessings. Thanks of God for Christians who are faithful, steadfast, who are compassionate, who are generous, who are trusting, who are loyal, who are determined to overcome, who are sincere about finishing the course, and who are keeping the faith. I've got good news for All you. All right. That there will be blessings. Blessing in abundance. Yeah. That there will be overwhelming joy. I said i got good news. That there will be overcoming victory. There will be symmetrical. There will be divine protection. There will be divine resources. Yes. I thank you, Jesus. I thank your Holy Ghost.
Yes, he is. Yeah. 